let's, let's get in the Word of God this morning. 1 Kings chapter 8. We're going to go to 1 Kings chapter 8. We're going to read verses 10 and 11 this morning. 1 Kings 8, 10 and 11. And when the priest came out of the holy place, a cloud filled the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not stand to minister because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in your precious name we come to you. We thank you, God. We thank you for your love and your mercy. And we pray today. God, that you find us <coughs> worshiping you at all times. That you don't find us worshiping things of this world. That we don't worship the work of our hands. That we're thankful for what you do in our lives. But we do not put stock in the things that we accomplish. God, we believe you're the one who brings the increase in everything. And Lord, we're thankful today to be able to gather in this new facility. But God, this new facility has no capabilities to do anything. Yes. Lord God, without your presence being in this place today, just like we read here in your word, without, this, without your presence, Father God, we're an empty ship. We're dead. We're cold. Lord, we, we pray for your presence to always be with us, in us, and that you find us faithful at all times. We ask this in the name, the blessed name of Yeshua, our Messiah. We thank you, Father. Amen. Yeah. The title of this message this morning is Without a Vision. Without a Vision. We're going to talk about the importance, and that stresses the importance of having a vision in our lives. We're going to learn today that without this vision that God gives us, we become slack. We become literally some like a people without any rules in their life. And if you've ever seen people that try to live without rules in their life, you will see a people that are living in chaos. They're living very destructive lifestyles. How many of you ever said when you were at home, I can't wait to get out of mom and dad's house so I can do what I want to? Amen? We want to get out of mom and dad's house so we can do what we want to. I'm tired of following mom and dad's rules. I don't like mom and dad's rules and I want to get out because I want to be free. And you find out in the real world, once you get out of that fantasy, you're not so free. Because there's rules, whether you like them or not. Amen? Amen. You may not be under mom and dad's rule, but there are rules in this world. And if you try not to follow them, if you try to rebel against them, you will find yourself in a not so good position. Vision. Building the kingdom. Challenges. Uh -oh. You just lost power. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we do there. Keep it free. Keep going. All right. We'll do it. You know, I, I didn't want to say something else. While we're dealing with our issues here, I have sensed, even yesterday morning, a tremendous no, amount of yes. spiritual warfare. If I don't kill the amps, then we get um, Yesterday, there was a lot of struggles. The machines didn't work right. This didn't work right. That didn't go right. You plug here. We got a white kitchen. And I know that there's a lot of opposition in the spiritual world. Satan does not want us to work for God. Satan does not want us to minister for God. He hates everything. If these lights here are going out, that's fine. That's okay. That's what we got to do. Satan hates everything to do with God. He hates you. He doesn't want you to work for God. He wants you to be discouraged all your life. 
He wants you to be without a vision. He wants you to be a person that has no purpose in your life. Do not allow, do not allow spiritual opposition. Is it only the same circuit? Yes. It is plugged over here. That's what the shit does. But shouldn't have plugged everything At the end of this message, the challenge goes to our listen, to you all listen. about Can you retirement. Read? When does a person, and keep this question in your mind, when does a person retire? Shan, I want to retire at age 55. I want to retire at age 62. One of the two. I'm not necessarily talking about your retirement from your occupation of this world. Do we ever rest? Do we ever retire from working in the world? Keep that question in your mind. As I read the verse of the scripture this morning in 1 Kings chapter 8, verses 10 through 11, the completion of the temple was now at hand. And now it came time to dedicate this temple to God. And at the dedication ceremony, we see where King Solomon was allowed by God to build this temple because his father David did not, he was not able to build the temple. King Solomon, because of God's promise, was able to build this temple, to complete this temple, and the dedication ceremony we find in 1 Kings chapter 8. The cloud that is mentioned, the dark cloud, it says, this cloud that came upon the temple was the visible presence of God. Many times when you read about the clouds in Scripture, you read about the presence of God. I'll give you an example. The children of Israel, at the daytime, when they were wandering through the wilderness, when they were led out of Egypt, in the daytime, what were they guided by? The pillow and the cloud. Okay? In the daytime, the visible presence of God. In the nighttime, is that fire. Visible presence of God. You know, I've, there's been many times I've read about the clouds in the scriptures. I've read about this cloud that came down in the temple. I've read about the cloud, that dark cloud that came down upon Mount Sinai. And I've often wondered, asked myself with my physical eyes, my physical mind, my physical ears, I've asked, how come we don't see that visible presence today? You ever wonder why? You ever wonder why they got to see the visible presence of God and we did not get, we do not, we have not seen, I don't know if any of you all have seen the visible presence of God. If you seen that pillar of cloud in the daytime, the fire at nighttime like what they did, I've often asked that question. When we ask that question, we wonder why, but the answer comes back to me in the scriptures, and as the Spirit speaks to me, the answer comes back, I believe that we do see God's presence. But we may not see it in the cloud like the children of Israel did, but I believe we see God's presence in a different way. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, verse 18, it speaks about this vision. Now, in the King James, it says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But in the New King James, it says, where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint. So when there's no revelation in the land, now that revelation, what it means is a prophetic revelation. When there is no prophetic revelation in the land, the people cast off their restraint. In other words, they're not hearing from God, and so they are no longer living for God. I don't know if y'all follow me on this one or not. Buddy, I'm going to challenge you on this camera thing because i got to come down here a little bit. When the people are not hearing from God, I want you guys to listen. When they're not hearing from God, they stop living for God. Do you hear what I'm saying this morning? And the reason the people in the days of the time to read about it in the book of First Kings, when we read about it later on in the Old Testament, 
The reason why people were not getting a prophetic revelation from God is because they weren't seeking God. If you look in the book of Judges, I believe it's chapter 24, it says that the people decided on what was right or wrong. They made decisions for themselves what was right or wrong. And you see, 